ellipses are one of the most intriguing shapes in mathematics with seemingly magical properties. Instead of a center, they have two foci with the same sum of distances to any point on its perimeter. Each focus is capable of luring heavenly bodies into a perpetual orbit as discovered by Kepler. Roll a round object from one focus and it's impossible to avoid striking the opposite focus. Elliptical rooms known as whisper chambers allow a person standing far away to hear the slightest whisper from one focus to another. From the famous ellipse in Washington to the largest ellipse in the world inside secretive North Korea, used for both celebrations and public executions, this fascinating shape is associated with a great deal of mystique. While researching ellipses for a pre-calculus lesson, I became intrigued by the oldest bridge still in use in the state of Tennessee, so I decided to go find this nearly 200-year-old elliptical arch in person. We found it, the old stone bridge in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, the oldest bridge in Tennessee, built in 1837, and it still stands right here with an elliptical arch. They actually built in five feet for the height of the arch and then 12 feet for the semi-major axis, 24 feet all the way across each arch, which means whether they knew it or not, they put a 5, 12, 13 Pythagorean triple into the arch of this bridge. How about that? And it has stood all these years, nearly 200 years. The old bridge is a remnant of yesteryear part of the old Louisville and Nashville Turnpike. The toll road opened in 1829, transporting stagecoaches between the two towns before cars were available. Crossing Mansker Creek in the small town of Goodlettsville meant you were 1.5 hours north of Nashville in a grueling 15-hour journey to Louisville. This drive only takes three hours by car in modern times. Less than three miles of the original road remain in Tennessee, including this 2,000 foot stretch. A tree still standing, exceeding 150 years of age, would have been visible by those old passengers, and the road finally closed in 1901. Walking to the end of the last remaining section in Davidson County, I discovered a thick forest grown over the old road and a shocking surprise unseen by the public. Another section of road still exists buried in the woods, and a second bridge built in 1837 with a single arch still stands inexplicably intact. Two bridges, older than any other in the state of Tennessee, remain strong with the mighty strength of an elliptical design fortifying their existence year after year and century after century.